Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that we learned uh, this weekend is about Patch Tuesday of January. So we know that you know Patch Tuesday fixes a lot of security um, updates and uh, security flaws and vulnerabilities that are within Windows and different products. And uh, you know I get the comment all the time of people saying, "Well, you know that's how bad Windows is." Actually. <laughs> There are, there are as many flaws in Mac and Linux machines. They're updated all the time. And there's nothing different, and it's not worse on Windows than any other operating system. All systems have security flaws and are fixed every month and sometimes several times a month. Now, one of the security flaws that was fixed, and it's something that has been uh, actually uh, you know, kind of a secret, but the security researcher that actually found it decided that he was tired of kind of the secretive way of Microsoft but mostly because of the bug bounty program that Microsoft has that some security researchers say that it's paying less than it used to for security flaws discovered and so because he's a little frustrated at the uh, way Microsoft is working right now with that he disclosed one of the flaws that was fixed in the January Patch Tuesday updates. So if you are on the January, if you have installed the January Patch Tuesday updates, you got nothing to worry. But if you have not installed them, uh, and a lot of, actually a lot of people did not install them because there were a few things that went wrong on that Patch Tuesday, but that was fixed with a uh, out of schedule update. So you don't have to worry. You can install the Patch Tuesday update and you can install the update that uh, follows. Um, the Patch Tuesday update fixes a vulnerability that makes it easy actually to uh, escalate um, Win32K privilege escalation vulnerability. That means that you can easily become an admin and do whatever you want on systems. So this is an example of why you know, we need to have these security updates all the time because it's always um, something that is easy to exploit most of the time and some of these security updates can be exploited you know by remote code execution as we call it which is simply you know having the perfect code sent to a browser for example on the internet and your computer can you know you can lose control of your computer you can have malware installed ransomware so it is always important to have these updates and uh the security researcher has decided to just speak out and say that uh, the exploit, which was, uh, you know, uh, explained about and talked about. And there were various tests that have been done, including a um, bleeping computer that uh, did the test to see if they could exploit it. It was pretty easy to do, and they actually even were able to, as a test, get Notepad running. So it gives you an idea of how important these security updates are. I always say it, security updates are the number one thing you should install on a PC on any device. It is way more important than an antivirus. That is, with your behavior, the two best ways to actually stay safe. When I hear people saying, well, I changed my antivirus because I got a virus with uh, Windows Defender, the problem isn't Windows Defender. The problem is you. You're not careful with what you do on the Internet because nobody gets viruses when they are very careful with what we do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.